Question number 10. A bucket full of water is 40 cm in diameter in the open end. 24 cm in diameter in the bottom end. And 32 cm deep. The bucket is then emptied completely into a cylindrical drum of 56 cm in diameter. Find the level of the water in the drum to the nearest whole number. We are asked to take pi as 22 divided by 7. Okay, for better understanding, let us draw a bucket as well as this drum. So here we have a bucket as well as a drum. According to this question, the diameter to the top of this bucket is what? 40 cm, which means that 20 will be the radius because I'm interested in the radius alone. So if this is the center to this part, this will be what? 20. So this is 20 cm. And to the bottom, it is what? 24 cm. And half of 24 is going to be what? The radius, which is 12. So if this is the center to the circumference, we have 12 cm here. And I can connect this in order to obtain the height. And the height is given as what? 32 centimeter. So this is 32 centimeter. Then for the cylindrical drum, the diameter is what? 56 cm, which implies the radius will be what? 28. So from the center to the circumference of this cycle will be 28. So it implies that the water here is completely filled up and the water is also completely emptied into this container which is what in cylindrical form so we are asked to find the height of the water in this cylindrical container so we're looking for the height here so we need to find the volume of this water first this is a frost tomb and to find the volume of a frost tomb we need to sketch a cone and this is the height of the cone. So if we should call this height of the cone, what will be the entire height? Height of this big cone. It will be 32 plus h, right? So this is 32 plus h. So if you observe, we have a smaller cone here, which has a height of h, and the big cone here, which has a height of 32 plus h. So we are going to apply the idea of what? Similar shape in order to find the volume of h. Because to find the volume of the frost tomb, we need to find the volume of the entire cone, the big cone here. Then also we need to find the volume of this smaller cone. Then subtract the volume of this smaller cone from the volume of the entire big cone. What is left will be the volume of the frost tomb. And to do that, we need this H, definitely. So, let me do something here. Because we have a big con, we have a small con. Let's write some parameters here. The big con has a radius of 20 cm. So, let me use capital R for the big radius. Is what? 20 cm. And it has a height of 32 plus h. So I will use capital H for the height. That is 32 plus h. Then for the smaller cone, it has a radius of what? 12 cm. And the height remain what? H. So you should know that according to the similar shape, this capital R divided by the small r will be equal to capital H divided by the small h. So capital R is 20, small r is 12. This is equal to capital H is 32 plus h and small h is h. Then by cross multiplication, we have 20 multiplied by h 
which is going to give us what 20 h this is equal to 12 times 32 is going to give us what 384 then plus 12 times h is 12 h if you take this 12 to the left hand side it becomes negative and 20 minus 12 is 8 so we have 8 h equal to 3 8 4 then we divide both sides by 8 and hence h equal to what 48 cm and therefore the height of that smaller cone is nothing but 48 cm so how can we obtain the height of the bigger cone we can simply plug it here 48 right to get the height of the bigger cone therefore capital h which is equal to um, 32 plus h 32 plus h is now equal to what 32 plus 48 which is going to give us 80 cm therefore capital h is 80 cm so now let us go ahead and find the volume of the bigger cone as well as the smaller cone we are coming back to this one don't forget so the volume of the big cone let me say v sub b this is equal to remember that volume of a cone is 1 over 3 multiplied by the volume of a cylinder and the volume of a cylinder is what pi r squared h so we are going to take pi r squared h because remember we are using capital letter for the bigger cone and this is equal to 1 over 3 multiplied by they say we should use 22 over 7 as our pi and capital R remember is 20 squared then multiply by H which is 80 so what I will be doing here I will take 22 times 400 times 80 right and this is 704000 divided by 3 times 7 is 21 then we divide if you divide by 21 you have uh, 33523.81 cm cube this is the volume of the bigger cone then we need to find the volume of the smaller cone volume of the smaller cone is equal to 1 over 3 pi r squared h everything small letter this is 1 over 3 pi is 22 divided by 7 remember our radius for the smaller cone is 12 squared then what is the height the height is what 48 so we have 48 here so let's simplify we have 22 times 144 because 12 squared is 144 times 48 that will give us 152064 divide by 3 times 7 is 21 and if you divide by 21 you have 7241.14 cm cubed this is the volume of the smaller cone so to find the volume of the frostum which is the bucket volume of frostum is equal to volume of the bigger cone minus volume of what the smaller cone so the volume of the bigger cone i think let me just copy that this is the volume of the bigger cone the minus volume of the smaller cone which we have here okay all we have to do is to subtract and we have 26 1282.67 cm cube so this is said to be the volume of the water in that bucket but remember that this volume entire volume here has been poured completely into a cylindrical container 
which is right here. So we want to find the height, the level of that water. So remember that the volume of a cylinder is equal to what? Pi R squared H. And the volume is already known because the volume of the water will be the same volume after you have poured it into the cylindrical container. So we have our volume, we have our pi, which is 22 over 7. We have the radius, which is 28. Then we make H the subject. So how can we make H the subject? It will be volume divided by pi r squared. And that is just it. So what is the volume? The volume is what we have just obtained here. Let me pick it. So here is it. Then divide by um, 22 over 7. Multiply by the radius squared, which is 28 squared. 28 squared. And this is equal to 26. 282.67. Divide by... Let me use my calculator to simplify this in decimal. That will give us exactly 2464. Then we equally divide 26,282.67 divided by 2,464 is equal to 10.67 approximately. But remember, they said to the nearest whole number. So we are going to approximate it to 11. I remember that this is what in centimeters. And hence, the height of the water in this cylindrical container is 11 cm to the nearest whole number. And hence, we have just answered this question. Now let us move on to question number 11.